Hi, my name is Scott Krieger, President of Reliant Fire Apparatus, and we are up in Appleton today to do the final inspection on the uh, new aerial ladder for the City of Milwaukee, and uh, this is going to be their 61st Pierce unit being delivered to Milwaukee. This truck is special because this is going to help us round out our fleet. It's going to bring a new piece of apparatus in. We've got new technologies incorporated uh, on this apparatus that, that actually bring us into a, a more functional more user friendly for the end user of this apparatus, the firefighter. We sold our first truck to the city of Milwaukee in 1998, uh, delivered it in August. Uh, we had worked with them previously uh, specifying some trucks or bidding some trucks uh, with which we weren't originally successful and then originally Ladder 12 and Ladder 13 were our first two trucks to the city of Milwaukee in 1998. This will be our 61st fire apparatus to include uh, engine pumper apparatus, aerial ladder, tower ladder and uh, heavy rescue apparatus we've, we've brought into the City of Milwaukee Fire Department from Pierce. Uh, having an all Pierce front line is critical from a familiarity and a uniformity standpoint just at the base foundational structure of the, the, the engine apparatus or the aerial ladder apparatus. Appleton, Wisconsin, Pierce's uh, home grounds is in the state of Wisconsin. Milwaukee is the largest city in the state of Wisconsin. So it's very good for us to have this presence in, in the largest city in our state. Uh, but this is also the first time um, that the city of Milwaukee will have all of the apparatus of one type as their frontline vehicles. Primary reason we drive this ladder truck around on a daily basis to all variety of different emergencies is for the final four or five feet of the tip of that aerial ladder. In recent years, the tip of that aerial ladder became a bit cluttered with accessories, if you will, and the primary mission of the tip of that aerial ladder, the capability of rescuing, rescuing firefighters, rescuing civilians, uh, became lost in the shuffle. A lot of good things were happening at the tip of those aerial ladders, but I think it just got lost in the shuffle that a firefighter coming out of a fourth floor window is the primary reason we're driving this aerial ladder around on a daily basis. So we cleaned up the whole tip of that aerial ladder. Uh, it sounds like a simple thing. It was in order to keep all of the functions we as firefighters have grown accustomed to, it became a bit of a challenge to still keep those but to clean up the final four or five rung sections of that aerial ladder. They accomplished that for us. A lot of phone calling back and forth, a lot of meetings, a lot of uh, brainstorming come up with what the solution would be. That's an exciting one for us uh, because we've, we've made the tip of this aerial ladder uh, kind of a throwback, if you will. We've been through uh, a number of different people with a number of years that we've been here and uh, Chief Lipsky, who was here, um, his father was very instrumental in the first pumpers that we uh, sold to the city of Milwaukee. As a matter of fact, he was in the same job that Chief Lipsky now was in. We've worked closely with Scott Krieger for, for many, many years. Uh, Several chiefs of the uh, repair shop, uh, which is where, we, where I, we work out of, uh, my father was the deputy chief of that repair shop. Uh, and he began working in earnest with Scott Krieger to, to rethink the engine apparatus. To, uh, they spent a lot of time up here at the plant with engineers hammering out what they could and couldn't do just based on the realities of structural integrity and, and uh, piping, etc. cetera. And uh, they designed a fire apparatus that is uh, largely unchanged today. Fast forward a number of years here, I'm now in charge of the same exact area, and we are forever coming up with a better way. Everybody is. Everybody wants this to be a better, faster, safer, more efficient process to go to a fire or to go to a, a medical emergency or to go to a, a pinned-in victim in an auto wreck and to be able to mitigate that problem faster. And so working with Scott Krieger at Reliant, we've been able to solve some of these problems. When we brought up cleaning up the tip of the aerial ladder, it was, it was an exciting process to be a part of because it seemed new to everybody. It actually is how all the aerial ladders looked for many years. We all have just kind of been lost in the, the speed of everyday life, the speed of business, the speed of uh, new technologies. And we are finally able to say, all right, some of those things work fantastic. We still need to be able to get the firefighter out of the fifth floor window. And it may sound dramatic, but that's the deal. That's why we buy this piece of apparatus, is for the final tip of that aerial ladder. And they've cleaned it up.
And I mean, they had to do quite a few backbends to make that happen, but here we are. And we lost none of the functionality for the rest of the things that need to also be working at the tip of that aerial ladder. It was very good for us. So it's been fun to work with a number of the, the people, in this case here, two different family members, um, to deliver the good product that we build to them. And uh, that's been a lot of fun. We do not have the choice to just pick up the phone and call Pierce Apparatus to say we're buying your fire trucks. We go through a whole process being a city the size we are, uh, and, and it amounts to a low bid process. I think it speaks to uh, Pierce's capabilities to produce a product that is desirable for us and functional for us and efficient for us that is the low bid winner. I think that's fantastic. It's a great intersection for us because we are getting the product for the, the greatest value for the, the, the best price. It doesn't seem like it's something that we should be thinking a lot about when we're designing a fire truck, but the reality is we have to be thinking that way. Pierce has allowed us to do that. We will now have a full frontline uh, complement of Pierce apparatus. I don't believe that's ever happened in the city of Milwaukee before. And the ability to be able to move apparatus from station to station or jump crews from station to station and have there be a similarity to the apparatus they just left, it provides a margin of safety and it provides a margin of efficiency that we wouldn't otherwise have. It's the largest community in the, uh, in the state. It's our largest customer in the state of Wisconsin. And uh, to have that presence uh, is, is uh, a very good thing. It's always nice to see the trucks on television. You know, Milwaukee has a lot of uh, television. They have a lot of fires, a lot of rescues. And every time that we now see the trucks on uh, television, it kind of gives us a little bit thrill. Even after 61 of them, you still get that thrill every time you see a truck that you've worked on uh, in action. And in the city of Milwaukee, that is the case all the time. Now.